Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Club and I am Penj and welcome back to Kingdoms Reborn where we are back at a very chilly Zester City. It's currently minus 10 degrees C or 15 degrees Fahrenheit if you prefer, but whichever one of those you do prefer, I think we could really accurately describe the temperature as really very cold indeed. I mean it looks lovely, it looks very very pretty, everything covered in this nice sort of blanket of snow, it looks very nice. It is just a little bit chilly here in Zester City, but there you go, that's what you get for it being the middle of winter. So last time out we were Worked on this area here across the river to the north of our main settlement and it looks really good now I mean when we started the previous part this wasn't really here I think we had the bridge and we had a road and now we've got all sorts of extra bits and bobs we've got a nice storage area another sort of pottery area just there which is wonderful a nice area here where we can go and actually get some bread made which is wonderful another type of food for our people to enjoy currently we have 51 bits of bread which is splendid and so that looks very very nice we've got ourselves a good bit of storage over over here we've got a new source of food over there in a pig farm and another shiny new building entirely over here in a sheep ranch because we didn't have one of these before so we now have our very first sheep ranch that's generating a lot of nice food as well we've got a load of housing in here and the good thing is they are next to a library as well so our science is also absolutely rocketing up we are earning an awful lot of tech points every time it sort of ticks around so yeah we're getting loads and loads of tech coming in which is wonderful so it's looking really good it's looking very, very good over here. Things are looking very splendid. In terms of food, got lots of that now. There was a little bit of a worrying moment where that might have been a little bit low, but we've sorted that out for now. So that's pretty good. Uh, we've got ourselves some good resource numbers down here. I mean, yeah, we're okay for flour. We're absolutely fine for leather. We've got absolutely loads of that. However, we are missing out on some key resources like stone. That's, yeah, we can get some more of that. That's sort of fine. Steel tools, that's a bit of a problem. And possibly more importantly, we're a bit low on coal and we're entirely out of wood. Now, normally, normally that's sort of okay. We can go and cut some trees down. But as we've seen, it's midwinter and it's really quite cold. And there are quite a lot of people with the, I'm a bit cold, can I please get a bit warmer icons above their heads? Which could mean that if they get too cold, they might, you know, die a little bit. So this is quite bad. This is quite bad. We need to sort this out. Now I do notice, are you actually doing anything? Um, yeah, so our charcoal burner is burning some wood to turn it into coal, which is quite good because coal heats people's houses a little bit better than just some wood does. But we are still quite low. We're still quite low. So we've we've asked for these trees here to be removed. That's okay. So hopefully people will get on that. I think we've got quite a lot of labor force. Yeah, 36 laborers we've got. So hopefully people will hurriedly get over here to chop down these trees because that could be very handy indeed. So yeah, let's get that done. I also noticed there's a load of animals over here. There's a load of animals over there. It would be very handy if we got ourselves like a hunter over here. They could get a load of meat from all those animals. That could be very, very good indeed. Or down here. Look, look at the amount of them there are. That's crazy. Ah, yes, we've got another tailor under construction. The thing is, we need to get ourselves um, quite a lot of the uh, iron bars. We've got 15 of them and we need, how many do we need? Nope, that's a, that's a pig. Uh, we need 30 of them to make that tailor just there. And we also do need to get our medicine maker built as well, which could be very, very handy. I think the fact that they've got lit up above the top means that people are coming over to do something about this. I think maybe that, is that what that meant? They lit up, the, the people lit up there. All the four people above that lit up for a second. Uh, yeah, maybe now they're bringing resources to it. I do not know. But yeah, of course, as well, last time we got this bit set up over here. So we now have a little area over here where we're getting iron from our, now that's forest hang on, there we go, iron from the iron mine, and then we're able to take it to the smelter, to smelt the sort of iron ore down into proper iron bars, so they can go and use that to do building, which is what we've just seen just over there with those two buildings, but also there is a blacksmith right next door, so they can turn the iron bars and some wood into some tools, which we desperately, desperately need, and now we've run out of coal entirely, and also we've ran out of the decent medicine, Solomon died of old age, oh Ingrid died of cold, Okay, that's not good. I mean, okay, spring is here. It's three degrees C. So, oh, it's, it's absolutely boiling. And Dave has left our town because he's homeless. Okay, really? There's a space. Ah, no, Lucy died of old age. I mean, Dave, you should have just waited a day or two. You would have been fine. Okay, never mind. Okay, so we need some more housing as well. I mean, over here, over here's a perfect spot for housing. It would remove this boar burrow, which is unfortunate because, yes, with more animals is quite good. Uh, let, hang on. Let's go to here. Can we get ourselves? Yeah, hunting lodge. Absolutely. Hunting lodge, please. Yes, we will take one of those. Now, I'd kind of, I'd like to get the, the beekeeper and the candle maker in. 
because they could be quite good, but candle maker requires cotton. And we don't have access to cotton right now. I do not believe. I wonder if there's some nearby. And also we might want to go and head toward coal. We might need to go and grab some coal as well. Now there is some coal not too far away from us. So we might need to head out toward that because yeah, we're burning through all of our wood. Literally we're burning through all of our wood to keep everybody warm over winter. So it'd be quite handy if we could get some proper coal out of, you know, a mountain and what have you. Uh, let's get the hunting lodge. Let's get that in. Let's put that... Um, I mean, up here look quite good. There's some more trees up there. So how about we pop that? We just put that right on the edge. Just there will do the job. Boom. Splendid. So that goes in, which is very nice. Yeah, we need some more housing. Hang on, hang on. Housing. Uh, rotate it around. We'll put another one there. So another house can sit right next to the library, which is wonderful. And then we'll pop another house just there on the other side of that burrow, sort of boar burrow thing just there. So we won't destroy that. So the animals will still be around because we do have ourselves a hunting lodge just there. So those boars might come from that particular burrow. So yeah, we don't want to get rid of that because then this hunting lodge will have nothing to do at all. Okay, okay, wonderful. There we go. So that's looking okay up there. Yeah, we just need these iron bars coming in. We need the iron bars coming in. We need some housing. We also do need some wood. Okay, hang on a second. Gather non-fruit trees from that area just there. Okay, that's that's not helping. There's, there's some trees there you can have. That can be used for wood. That's quite nice. Right, is there a buy wood card? No, there is not. However, there is a forester card. That could be quite useful because a few people have pointed out in the comments that we keep uh, sort of you know, putting a forester down and then sort of building around the foresters. So yeah, we're struggling for wood as we can see just here. So how about we get this forester just here? So we go, yes, we'll have that card, please. Also, another coal mine I do not think would go amiss. I think that could be quite good. And how are we looking for bread? Let's get another bakery as well. Oh, can we buy all three? Can we buy all three of those cards? Um, Forester Bakery. And two coal mines. Ah, yes. Okay, we've got two of those. They stack in your hand. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, people are leaving the town because they are homeless. Yeah, this this isn't going well all of a sudden, is it? Right, hang on. Um, We need some wood from somewhere. Now, yeah, there's a forester just here. And then we decided to build a great big industrial area around this forester, which is probably a really stupid idea. So how about we don't do that anymore? We need a nice new area where we can just leave the foresters to go and just plant trees. So we were going to put one over here because we've left lots of trees here. So how about we put one forester down? Let's just pop you, if we put you right there, that's a really good location. That's very good. And we'll leave that all nice and sort of wooded. That's absolutely fine. And I think we might as well just get rid of this forester just here because they can't really be doing much. They're producing 13 wood per season, which is a bit rubbish. <laughs> That's not very much at all. So how about we demolish you? So yes, we get the card back in our hand. Can we put something else into there? Uh, a bakery would fit in just there. Do we want a bakery to go in just there, however? Because the wheat and such is all the way over there. Um, yeah, the wheat... Well, I suppose the wheat actually is here. The wheat is there. I suppose we could ferry it down here. It's just the gap. There's a nice sort of convenient gap just there now where we could put a bakery. And it fits pretty much perfectly. Yeah, let's pop a bakery in. There we go. Uh, also, I did think we could do with a bridge. We could do with a bridge magically appearing between here and here. That would be handy. And also, why don't we put another bridge in? Because they sit there are 20 money. 20 money. We've got 4,666. So we'll put another bridge in. So a couple more bridges going in. That's quite nice. Okay. And can we put a bridge sort of over that way as well? Have we even got a path going along here? No, we have not. You have to walk around the edge, I'm afraid, everybody. You have to take a little bit of a stroll to go around that way. Okay. Right. Yeah, they've got not got enough input. They've not got enough input. Okay, right. We need some wood and we need it soon. How about we go and do some trading? Let's get ourselves some stuff from trading. So what sells quite nicely? It's a shame you can't sort of order by price. That'd be quite nice. Furniture. We've got quite a bit of that. So how about we sell 100 units of furniture for 612 monies? Okay, that's quite a nice amount of money to get in in one go. We could also sell some pottery. Because we've got quite a lot of that. Why don't we sell another 50 units of that? 
Let's sell 60. Let's go completely crazy. So we've almost got a thousand in profit, which is quite nice. And then we've got loads of leather. We'll put that up to 200. Let's, we're at 240. So half of our sort of available space that we can do in a trade, we will do for selling. And the other half we will use for purchasing things. So let's get some proper, proper medicine, wherever that might be. Where are you? Medicine. It's quite expensive. We'll get 30 units of that in, which is nice. Then we could do with some tools just to keep us going. We are able to make our own, but we're struggling a little bit. So steel tools. Oh, they're completely extortionate. Yeah, that's really expensive. That's very expensive. Okay, there we go. And then wood. Wood, 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 wood. Where is wood? I know we're surrounded by trees. I'm aware of this, but we can get some in and it's relatively cheap. So how about we just buy the rest of that in? So 480 of wood. So we're going to lose 815 gold. We've got 4,600. So that's not a problem. Okay, and we're going to get 190 wood when that arrives. Yeah, okay. There we go. Go and do that trade. Yeah, they're quite, that's quite expensive really, isn't it? But okay, never mind. So we're going to get some nice resources in. That's going to be quite handy. And then hopefully, yeah, we'll get some other trees sorted out as well. We can't do anything right now. Right, where can we go and chop down some more trees? We need to go and lop down some more trees. I mean, down here, down here, there is a little village. But they're probably going to want to join us. They're going to want to go, hey, can we join your settlement? And we're going to go, ah, uh, not right now. Bit full. Got no housing available. Sorry. And also, you're probably going to get a bit cold at some point. So maybe not right now. But we own this. We own this tile over here. Is it worth building a bridge over there and a bridge over that way and then getting this tile it's not a tile is it this province whatever it is yes a grassland province this one over here just chop all the trees down again get rid of all those trees because that could be quite good and then maybe you could put our foresters over this side so we have another forester in here and that could just be another forestry sort of zone we just keep that safe for forestry oh oh there's goodies just there oh can we buy that 288 influence oh my goodness me we've got so many influence points okay yeah well let's buy that and we get some goodies do you want jewelry do you want pottery or do you want coal we'll have 150 coal please thank you oh no oh hang on cotton seeds unlock cotton farming yes do that coal crates we'll pick that yay for coal right that looks a little bit better 150 coal nice and some cotton seeds as well okay that's looking good. Are there any other goodies? There's something there. There is something just there as well. If we could zoom in. I mean, yeah, why don't we just buy some territory? That's 362. That's 186. That's 270. And then we get some more stuff. Uh, 100 wood. Right now, that could be quite useful for building things. But we've ordered some wood in. How about another bit of coal? 10 jewelry is not going to go anywhere. That's going to vanish quite quickly. So coal crate. Have another... 150 coal, please. Yes. Gladly take that, thank you. And then maybe, maybe we should expand over here because in there we have access to some coal. The only problem about the coal over here is that there's a great big mountain in the way and we can't build over the mountain, I do not believe. I don't think we can get round. So we're going to have to mine all the coal from, say, here and then bring it all the way around. Although technically that's not too far, is it? But we could also go up there. How about we get this bit? Let's do that. Let's go here. Let's get this done. So this tile cannot claim province through mountain and sea. Now, oh, bother. We've got to go all the way around. Right. 205, 523, 490. Let's get this as well. 545. How much of that influence stuff have we got? We've still got almost 2,000 remaining. Okay. <laughs> we'll just keep buying stuff. All right. Bit there. Bit there. Buy that bit there. Something just happened. I don't know what it was. Oh, we found some crates. Okay wood iron ore or pottery quite a lot of pottery um how about some iron ore how much of that have we got 293 i think we're okay for that pottery i suppose we could sell it instantly gain 80 pottery yeah okay boom 80 pottery has appeared i suppose we could sell it on uh, and then let's get this one here that's 221 oh my goodness me we have expanded an awful lot we've, we've expanded a great deal um do you want to grab that one there just for the sake of it? Yeah, all right, 270. And I think that's most of our influence used up right now. Although I imagine that will come back quite quickly. Okay, right, we've got loads of land to play with. Wonderful. 
So yeah, I think our best bet is to get this bit over here set up as a forestry area. Get this bit all nice and woody. Get lots of trees over here. So let's get ourselves a forester in there right now. In fact, no, no, let's get some bridges in first before we do anything exciting. Right, a bridge. Wonderful. And then another bridge, probably coming in from that direction. That's very good. Need a bit of a road going in. Lovely. And then do we need another bridge? No. That'll be absolutely fine across there. So a couple of bridges going over that way with a with a free tree that's appeared at the edge of the bridge. Very nice. And then let's get our forester in over here. Um, I mean, yeah, just in the middle would do the job. Just pop them right, I don't know, there. That'll do. Right, there's no houses around. That's absolutely fine. We can sort that out. We can put a few houses in next year. So we'll have a house. We also need a bit of a storage area over here for wood and what have you. We can make quite a big storage area now i think that's a bit too big there huge storage area uh oh or do we want to actually put a warehouse in now so, yeah get rid of that get rid of our storage yard away with you storage yard uh get rid of that boom delete yes away and then a warehouse a proper nice warehouse there we go like so and they can store stuff in there then we just need the road to connect up to that bit like so and then if we could somehow can we just bring that straight up like that yeah that's brilliant okay right that's looking really good that's looking very very good indeed however it still does not sort out the problem of wood right now so how about we just chop down some of the wood down here how far are you going to reach so yeah some of the wood down here could go that would be fine i would be happy with that so gather everything sort of from about there that might help quite a bit and yeah, they're getting some wood from ch chopping down the trees. And we have a level four house. That is very good. Okay, happy with that. What's going on with our cards? Uh, quarry, don't need another one of those. Furniture workshop, got plenty of those. Service wild card. Unlock a service building. What is a service building? What exactly constitutes a service building? I do not know. Agriculture, we're okay for that. Sell food. Sell food could be... No, actually, no, we don't want to do that right now because we've got quite a big population. Oh, no, people are leaving the town and animals are eating the crops and all our coal has vanished. Where, what happened to that 300 coal or whatever it was? Where's all that gone? Hang on. Who's who's nicked all the coal? We had loads of coal. We found loads of it in crates and all of a sudden every single bit of it has vanished. Hmm. Okay, okay, that's somewhat worrying. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. We need more tools. I know we're on it. We're trying to get we're trying to get woods. We can build things. Um right, we're gonna need some more wood. We're going to need a lot more wood. How about all these trees along here? These are all nice, easy pickings. Everything from sort of there, please. There and there. Get all of those. In fact, go all the way up to there. Grab all of those trees, everybody. Everything over there must be go, go, cut down. We want all the stuff with oranges on it. Don't really care. And then I think we need to get a coal mine in. We need to start looking over here at getting a whole bit set up around here for coal mining and then moving the goods around the corner and all that kind of stuff. We need some houses over here, some storage areas. Yeah, that's going to be quite complicated because it's round the edge of a mountain. Can we not build a tunnel? A tunnel would be really handy, but no. Uh, yeah, we've got homeless people, people dying of old age. Oh, it's all going a bit wrong. Yeah, Bob has gone. Bye, Bob. <laughs> See you later, Bob. Yeah, the houses are not being constructed. We have got quite a bit of wood now. Ah, I think we just ordered some wood. Right, please have a buy wood card. Uh, no, 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 don't want any of those. None of those are useful. Can we regenerate that thing, please? Oh, no, that's no use. And apparently, yes, we built a market down here which looks lovely it looks really good apparently these don't work this doesn't work apparently so i'm told in the comments they look good you know it looks lovely people are here well actually there's no one here there's no one here maybe that's why it doesn't work because nobody lives here nobody works here but yeah so you're supposed to be able to sort of bring resources in and just put them here but apparently they don't do anything in the game nobody can go and use them so i'm tempted to just demolish it because otherwise we're going to have loads of this food sitting in this market that people are not going to use. So I don't know. I don't know. Hang on, we've got some tech though to look at, which is wonderful. Ah, this is very good. When we cut down wood, we get 20% more wood from any wood resources. Splendid stuff. Okay, quarries. 
30% production to quarries. Yes, please. We will have that. That means we get more stone. That means we get more iron. And eventually, when we get to coal mining, we get some more coal. In fact, no. Hang on, what was it? Was it? No, hang on. Was it quarries, did it say? Oh, quarries. Yeah, not mines. Oh, okay. We're going to get more stone. Yay for more stone. Okay, how are we going to do this? Do we just knock down the market? Are we sure that it doesn't work? Are we sure that it doesn't work? It looks like it should work. Look, people are bringing stuff in. Just don't know if anyone ever takes anything out again. And it would be a shame if they loaded this up with all that food and then it just sat here and was unable to be accessed. That would be unfortunate. Maybe we'll just have one market. We'll just leave one market down here on its own. We've unlocked the winery. Yeah, all right, I'll buy a winery card. Why the heck not? Let's do it. And this is wonderful to see. Everybody is over here gathering all sorts of stuff. They're getting the wood. There's some stone as well that was underneath the trees. They are gathering an awful lot of stuff. So well done, hardworking people. Right, can we have a buy wood card? Because that would be really, really useful. Um, a tavern? Again, a tavern would be quite nice. But I think we refresh it. Oh, that's that's no good either. We need a we need a buy wood card really urgently. Uh, sell food, sort of useful, not what we want. Okay, again, no buy wood card. Okay, okay, right. One more go, one more go, and then and then if we don't get a buy wood card, that will just have to do. Oh my goodness me, a buy wood card. Yes, please. Yeah, we'll spend all of our money. Give us five hundred and seventy-one. We've almost got a thousand wood. Okay. That is very good. That will probably last us over the winter. Ah, but wonderfully, we have our medicine maker in place. This is very good. So currently, they take five medicinal herbs to make ten medicine. Well, that's very good. But if we upgrade the catalyst to one and a half thousand monies, which is quite expensive, but we earn quite a lot, uh, we can get plus 30% production. Let's do that. More medicine has got to be good. Yeah, we'll do that, please. Let's upgrade your catalyst, medicine maker. I mean, I'm not entirely sure what that means, but yeah, you've got an upgraded catalyst, which sounds great. Okay, I think we need to start looking over here now. Let's go over here and see what we can do with this coal mine. So we need to get this in. So how does this work? So we just need to put it somewhere. We need a region with coal. Oh, okay, hang on. Where does that region begin? Where is that region? It is... Ah, okay, right. So we can't put it here. Even the coal is sort of on this bit of mountain here. It's kind of on this side. Okay, that's fine. We can have two coal mines. This is not a problem. This is this is all fine. If we can fit them in, if we can make it work. Hang on, which way round does it have to go? Like that by the look of it. Okay, so can we put one, say there, because that would fit. So yay for that coal mine. Hang on, we had two of those coal. Ah, I was going to say, where's the other coal mine card gone? But there we go, it's come back, yay. Um, and then we want to get that in down here if we could. There we go, splendid, right. And then we want to connect them up by a, by a road, which is lovely. So we'll get that in like that. And this is gonna have to sort of come round this way. Can we cut that round the edge of this mountain? Uh, oh, look at that. Oh, that's quite clever. The pathing thing is actually quite, that's quite clever. Right, there we go. And then bring that round to say there. It's gonna be a bit of a faff, isn't it? Um, and then we could do with, we need some houses over here, which is not brilliant, but it will have to do. Right, hang on, get rid of the thing. Uh, okay, oh, look at that. Look at the land here. It's super fertile around there. And oh, no, that's appeal. That's appeal, not fertility. Okay. Yeah, it's less appealing living around a, living around a coal mine. Yeah, I, I kind of get that. That seems fine. Right, let's put a house. Where can we put the houses? Hang on, hang on, hang on. There must be a better way to do this. So if we just run a bit up here, why don't we just have a path going straight at the middle of there like that? Boom. Big long kind of highway right at the middle and then get ourselves a couple of houses on this bit here. So one house, two houses, let's have three houses over there. And then we can have ourselves storage yard. Or do we go and try and, have we got a card which lets us buy a thing? A wild card. Unlock any building of your choice. Or is it a service building? I don't know. Do you know what? They're, these wild card things are pittance. Let's buy, let's buy two of those. And do want to buy the sheep ranch as well, just to put something else over here to make it a little bit more worthwhile. Yeah, a sheep ranch as well. Why not? Let's do that. And then, okay, service wild card. Ah, this is what the services are. Okay, okay, this is fine. Okay, we'll have a library then. Let's take us a library, which we have to build right now, it seems. That's fine. That's fine. We can do that. Let's put it facing... Do you want to put it at the top here, actually, like that? And it covers those houses that we've just constructed. 
Yeah, pop a library in just there. The sheep ranch can then go in on... Can it go in right next to the coal mines? Yeah, we'll pop that right there. Uh, and then the wild card. Can we use that for a warehouse? Warehouse, warehouse, warehouse. There we go. So we'll have one of those. Pop that. Let's pop that sort of there. Can it actually put it on this side? So put the warehouse just there. And then let's have the road cutting across like that. Wonderful. Okay, I mean, that's that's a huge building project right there. And it's kind of out of the way. But I think we need this. We need coal. And people are leaving the house because they've not got... They're leaving the house, leaving the town because they've got no houses. Okay. <laughs> oh, crikey. Right. I'm sure it's all fine. It's all fine. No tools. Yeah, 186 population, 180 houses. Can you all just stop for a second? Can we stop inviting people in? We're a bit busy. Can we stop inviting people in? Where's our... Where's our thing? Are you inviting someone in? Immigration office. Stop doing that. Stop doing whatever it is you're doing. <laughs> we can't fit any more people in. We need way more housing. And we're struggling for that, if I'm honest. However, we do have our forester in over here, which is wonderful. Okay. Um, how much stone have we got? 115. 30% efficiency. Yes, please. So cut and plant. Uh, prioritize planting non-fruit trees. Don't really care. And cut any trees down. Just cut them really quickly. You produce 40 per season. That's not very much at all. That's not enough. We need more. We just need loads of foresters. Maybe this, we just pack loads of foresters in. There's loads of them. Just put another one across the way, and another one over there, another one over here. Just put lots and lots of foresters in. Can we do that? Can we actually do that? Well, people are dying of old age, which is terrible. It's a sad thing, but it does free up some housing. Yay. Can we get a forester? Uh, no, but there is another warehouse. Warehouses are really good, but then if we do that, we can't get a forester. We'll have a warehouse. We're doing it. We're going for another warehouse. It's all fine. It's all good. And we'll put it over here because this storage yard over here looks very full. So if we just drop that in just there, that fits quite nicely next to the uh, other forester just here and the fruit gatherer and the hunting lodge and what have you. Okay, this forest here as well, process planting fruit trees. That is quite good because there is a fruit gatherer right there. So that could work quite nicely indeed. Okay, yeah, that'll do. That's pretty good. Upgrade Forest Town. Up, uh, gain 20, 40, 60 productivity if it has two, four, or eight foresters. I think we must have four foresters by now. A school? Oh, okay. Yes, we'll buy a school card. I assume they're an upgraded library. Plus three for surrounding level three. Oh, for surrounding level three houses. Effect does not stack. Okay, right. So we're back to, we're back to winter. The only thing about this winter, so the previous winter, is that we do have quite a lot of wood. So everyone can go and you know, burn the wood to keep warm. So we'll see less cold people. And storage is too far for these guys. The hunting lodge, the storage is too far away. Let's make you a bit more efficient. Um, okay, do you want to build a storage thing? Or do you want to wait to see if another warehouse appears? Come on, give us a warehouse. Warehouses are good. Don't need any of those so much. Okay, regenerate that thing. And uh, it's not ideal. Not ideal. Let's go again. Um, still not what we want. Okay, go again. One last time. One last time. Oh, boo. Okay, okay. Never mind. You're going to have to wait. You're going to wait a little while, Hunting Lodge. I apologise. However, Operation Get Coal into our settlement is going very well indeed. Look at this. Loads of people are over here. Very busily sort of rushing around the place. Let's actually have a look at the tech tree. What do we want next? Another one of these will then unlock Era 5. Okay, this is good. I think house adjacency might be quite good. Houses get plus one gold for each nearby house. So that should give us quite a nice amount of money. So yeah, we'll go for house adjacency, please. Let's get that done. Yeah, it's looking very good over there. That's going to be really helpful getting that stuff in. Getting the two coal mines in is going to be really, really good. Because then we're less reliant on wood to burn over winter, which means we keep the wood for, you know, building projects and all that kind of stuff, rather than just sort of setting fire to it and what have you. So that will be quite useful. Okay. Right, things are looking good, uh, apart from the fact that we don't have enough housing. I mean, this will help with the housing. This here will really, really help, but lots of people are leaving. I suppose that's not such a bad thing. Loads of people are leaving. Ilya, Sam, Marley, Ingrid. Yeah, the medicine is low. I know it is. I know. It's a bit of a... The, the administration of this town is an absolute shambles. Who's looking after this place? It's disgraceful. And our cards are refreshed. Let's see what we get. Um, we need storage. We need a storage thing, please. Could you please do a storage thing? I mean, a winery... We're going to get... The, we've got one winery card here. 
We're going to get grapes at some point. When we plant all this stuff, we're going to get grapes over there, which is going to be nice. Two wineries probably is no bad call. That's probably quite a good thing. So we'll have another winery, please. How are we looking for everything else? Um, oh, we're not producing enough furniture anymore. So our furniture numbers are absolutely tumbling down. Pottery, we're just about managing. But yeah, furniture, we're sort of, sort of lacking a little bit. Okay, what's going on with furniture? Is it because you haven't got enough stuff? Is that part of the problem? Is it because you do not have enough materials to actually make the chairs? I mean, maybe you should make some other furniture. Maybe everyone's sick of just chairs. <laughs> maybe, you know, I mean, would it hurt? Would it hurt? Oh, look. There's like an animated bit on that building. I didn't know they did that. That's quite nice. There's a spinny blade choppy thingy. Oh, that's quite good. Spinny blade choppy thingy. Official furniture workshop te terminology there. Um, yeah, would it would it hurt you to make, I don't know, a table, possibly? Would that be too much trouble to ask? A nice table. Clearly it would. Okay, okay. We'll have to look at that as well. A paper maker. Um, I think we'll refuse right now. I think we need to get everything in order. It's all gone a little bit kind of chaotic and a little bit silly. We need to get things sorted. It's all gone all over the place. So we've got ourselves here. We need tools. So we need coal. We need a lot of coal. Here we go. Next lot of things. Give us some storage. This is all very good. Iron smelter. Do we need another iron smelter? We've got a lot of ore, but we do not have a lot of the iron bars that we then use to make the tools with. Hang on. Come out of that. How is this looking? Oh, we're lacking input. We're lacking coal input. That's the problem. That is the problem with our tools. We're not able to get enough uh, enough coal in to turn the iron ore into proper iron bars to then hand over to the blacksmith to turn into tools. Ah, okay. But would another one of those be handy? Would another one of those be helpful? Or do we get another fruit gatherer? Because we are. Actually, that's disturbing. We're very low on oranges, although it has only gone to spring. Everyone's been snacking on the oranges over winter or whatever. Um, or do we just sort of reload this? Let's just spin it again. There we go. Uh, and normally we go for the buy wood card, but I don't think we need that right now. We need some sort of storage. Uh, that's a mine. A coal mine? Is it worth going to grab another coal mine? That could be quite good. That would be more coal. Yeah, all right. Let's get that. Let's have that and... That will do, I think. Yep, let's just grab those. Right, where is this going to go? We'll have a coal mine, please. The thing is, where can it fit? Uh, oh, hang on. We've got to face it the right way around. That would help, wouldn't it? Can't go there. Can't go. Can it go there? That'd be wonderful. Yes. Okay, this is brilliant. This should help out an awful lot. Ah, and we've got people here. So we should be generating coal. Is there coal in here? There is... Hang on, click in there. There's nothing in there right now, but are people working in here right now? Um, we'll have more workers and an improved shift. And we'll do that on that one as well, because it only costs some money. So that's fine. We've got the money. So there we go. Da -da, the little upgrade noise of that's happening. That's good. So they're upgraded, which is wonderful. House level one. Someone finish this house. Someone come over and, I don't know, just put the stairs in or something. Whatever you've got to do with this house, just make it finished. Because we really need some housing. Lots of people carrying resources quite far away. Where are you taking these? I know some of you are homeless. There's houses here. There's a house here that's nearly finished. Just, you know, put the door in or something. Whatever you've got to do to finish this house, please finish it. Because then people that are complaining about being homeless can complain a little bit less. But no, it seems that they're now working on this house over here. So we just have a number of incomplete houses. Yeah, it's all fine, you silly people. Um, Ah, that could be quite handy. A wild card. We'll take that, and we'll take another tailor as well, because I do notice we still have 3,000 leather. We've got so much leather going on, <laughs> so we'll get a tailor to try and uh, try and make some more clothes out of that. That could be quite good. Wheat, flour, wool. Yeah, we're getting wool, of course. We've got pig farms now. Um, Yeah, okay, that'll do. Do we need another medicine maker? We've got no medicine. We've also got none of the medicinal herbs. So they are growing slowly but surely. Yeah, okay, they're growing. I think the medicine maker will be fine. Uh, we'll get those two now. Thank you very much for the money, my good friends, who I do not care about. Uh, wild card. We're just going to get a warehouse. I know it's quite dull. I know it's really boring, but let's just pop a warehouse over here. 
right there. Splendid. Okay, so that hopefully will sort out storage for that area over there. Oh yes, we want to get this mining equipment card in. I kind of forgot about this. I thought maybe we'd put this in before, but no, completely forgot about that. Right, go over to here. So what can we get rid of? I think this master potter card can go. 20% efficiency. We've only got a couple of potters, so we don't need that. So we'll sell that for 200 monies. Thank you very much. That's very nice. Uh, and then, yeah, we've got ourselves mining equipment. So if we have a blacksmith, which we do, we get 30% productivity for our mines, which is going to be wonderful. We're going to get loads of coal and loads of stone and all sorts of stuff from them and loads of iron ore. So I think we need that in because that is a massive boost. The only thing is we have to take something out. I think we take out the Companies Act. Oh my goodness me. Oh, crikeys, everyone is dying of sickness. <laughs> we've, got, we've got medicine. We've got medicine. Oh my goodness me. An absolute wave, a plague has happened upon us. And we've just lost a massive load of people. We were 196 people at one point. Robert's dead, Danny's dead, Richard and Susan, Kevin, Grace. Oh my goodness me. Where are all these ill people? Where are they? Richard, Chan. I can't see any people with ill markers over their heads. I can see people that need tools. But I can't see sort of the ill markers over their heads. Maybe that's it. Maybe the plague is done. Maybe that's the end of the plague. Okay, let's hope it is. Okay, we'll get rid of Companies Act and we'll put in mining equipment. Beautiful. So now we should get more coal, Audrian, Audrian Grace of Dyke. Oh, our population is absolutely tumbling. The only good thing is that, yeah, we're freeing up loads of housing space, but our number of workers. Oh, oh dear. Our number of workers has come down quite a bit. Right, hang on a second. Desperate measures. El oh no. <laughs> Elvis has died from sickness. That's what he'll tell you. That's what he'll tell you. He does that a lot. Don't don't believe a word he says about that. He's around somewhere. Um. Okay, we need to buy medicine. It's expensive, but we need to spend quite a lot of money on it. Let's just put in half of our stuff to actually order medicine. So we'll get 240 in. And now we can try and sell some stuff. Um. Pottery, we've got an okay amount of that. Let's sell 100 units of that to bring that down to 252. Let's get rid of two, 120 units of it. And then some leather. We'll just sell the rest in leather. So it's going to cost us 1,500, that's fine, to get in a load of medicine. Oh dear. Okay, fine. There we go. The, the order has gone in. Right, just try not to die, everybody. Medicine is on its way. And in terms of the cards, we'll take another warehouse. They're quite useful. So yeah, we'll have another warehouse, please. That's quite nice. Also this, card removal. Remove a card from the draw deck. What does that mean? Does that mean we can always get rid of these snatch cards? I never ever want to use one of those. So can we just use this card removal card to remove the snatch card from ever appearing? So we'll just get another card in its place. Let's have a go, shall we? Let's see what that does. Card removal. So, okay. What do we want to do then? We just want to remove a card forever. Hang on, what does it say? Choose a card, pay the price to build. I don't want to build it, I want to remove it. I want it to not come back into our list ever again. Oh no. Okay, is there anything we don't want anymore? I'm in a trading post. Trading post is a bit pointless given we've got a trading company. Automatic trade resources with world market at lower fees. Why haven't we got one of these in? Why haven't we got one of these in? Let's get rid of the trading post. Let's get rid of that. Uh, yeah, okay, get rid of this. Are you sure you want to remove the trading postcard? Yeah, because we've got a better one. We've got a trading company. So yeah, okay. Trading posts are now only available from wild cards. So that will never come up ever again. Okay, okay, that's interesting. That's interesting, right you are. And one of the houses they've completed over here is already level three. That is very, very good. I mean, excuse all the people like, how many people are real? I can't see anybody with, with sickness markers over their head. How many people have we got that are a little bit under the weather? Hang on, hang on. I mean, we do have some medicine. We've got 23. Okay, we've got less. We've got 22. The, okay, medicine is being made and people are using it. I mean, who is ill? Are you ill? No, you're Kirk. And are you ill? No, Frankie, you're not ill either. So where are all these ill people? Ava and Martin has died. Okay, fine. Yes, yeah, people that need tools, but I can't see any sort of sickness icons over people's heads. Okay. Fine, there we go. We'll have to wait and see what's going on with that. We'll see if any more people die. It looks like maybe, maybe that's stopped now, which is wonderful. However, our population has been somewhat decimated. Have we got a um, a thing where we can get more people back? Uh, no, we've got research. How about, ah, Forester. Yeah, we'll have a Forester. We'll have a Fruit Gatherer. Uh, oh, botherations. Yeah, we can't get a Fruit Gatherer. We need to put some of these things in. Let's get rid of this. We'll get rid of Companies Act. Don't want that anymore. 
away with you. That's fine. And we've entered a new era. Okay, sustainability books. Let's get more sustainability books. Okay, we've gone to era five. Let's have a look at the tech tree. Now, do we want any of these? Cattle ranch. That could be quite good. Rear cows for milk. But we're in era five. So do we want to get any fancy era five techs? Extra house income. Plus three gold per house. A night barracks. Not really bothered about that. A bank. Plus 10 gold for each surrounding level two house. A theatre or deep water embarking. Not so bothered. These are all a bit... No, nah, a little bit, yeah, I'm not too bothered. Sort of, you know, casual shrug of the shoulders about these. I mean, I suppose a theatre might be quite nice, I guess. Extra house income, I suppose, gives us the most immediate benefit. We'll just get a load of money. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Let's go for extra house income. Why not? Let's get that done. And then maybe we'll go back to a previous era and maybe start finishing off some of the things that we have sort of haven't got, possibly. Okay, right, hang on. We've got a sustainability book. What's using up quite a lot of stuff? What do we want to become a little bit more sustainable? How about the bakery? The bakery could become a little bit more sustainable. So at the moment it costs five flour and five coal. We've put that in, three flour, and more importantly, three coal. That's quite good. So it's going to use less coal, which is splendid. Okay, that's good. Right, where can we put a warehouse? Where's going to be good for this warehouse to go? We can put a tailor over here in our little industrial zone. That's absolutely fine. Um, it's going to make people a bit grumpy if it's too near that house. That's, you know, you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have moved into that house if you don't like it. Let's be fair. Uh, we'll put it there because that's apparently not too close to that house to upset the people there. So they can have a tailor just there. And then how full is that? There's hardly anything in that warehouse. Hardly anything at all. Do we just want to put another thing over here for more storage or do we... Where else needs a bit of storage? Over there looks okay. I mean, we've got we've got plenty of storage spaces. I'm just trying to figure out where people, if people are walking really far, is what I'm thinking. Are people having to walk really, really far to get some stuff? There's a load of wood in there. Maybe it would make sense to get a bit more storage over this side. So let's put another one of those in. Can we get one in just there? Yes, I think that is pretty perfect. Where's the path that we've constructed? Yeah, look at that. It fits in right next to the other one. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Pop that in there. So a couple of nice storage areas over there. That's wonderful. Ah, yes, we can buy these cards. Hang on a second. So yeah, the forest is already highlighted. So forester, fruit gatherer, fishing lodge. Because I'm a little bit worried that, yeah, we're now producing 5,300 food and we're consuming 7,400. That's not good. I mean, you know, maths with pens is generally a terrible, terrible experience because, you know, numbers are confusing. But, I mean, even I know that that's bad. That is bad. We're not producing enough food. So another forester to make some more wood. That's quite nice. But a fruit gatherer, get more fruit. Because, yeah, we were once completely awash with wonderful oranges and now not quite so. And, um, yeah, get another fishery in as well for some fish. Because we're just about, we're just about okay with fish. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. But, okay, right. So, yeah, get those three, please. And now over here, there's a little body of water. Can we put a fishing lodge? over this way because that'd be quite good 102 percent efficiency for some reason if we put it just there there's i don't know more fish in one corner of the lake uh, yeah let's pop that down just there and then we need to connect this up to some sort of a road system so we'll bring that across like that bring that in like that and then how is this going to come through here right bring that down like this and then bring that across like that to there. Wonderful. And then we've got ourselves a little grid at the back there. That's quite nice. Right. Fruit gatherer. Is there lots of fruit? Yes, there is. 72 fruit trees around here. So with 74, 75 if we go down here. So we won't cut any of these trees down. Uh, where can we put that then? That's going to get the most. 73, 72, that's only 60s. Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll go there. We'll go opposite the fishery. That makes perfect sense. So we're going to have some nice sort of uh, food gathering type things over that side. That's quite nice. And then, then we want, we want to get this trading company thing down. Can we put that in this gap? It doesn't need to be near anything, does it? Oh no, do they have to go and get stuff from it actually? Maybe the resources are delivered there, in which case it probably wants to be a little bit more central. How about uh, here? That's not too far away from, oh, that's quite far away from over there. I don't know where to put this thing now. I'm, I'm, I'm dithering. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Hang on. Right. Where do we want to put this? This is a place where we can get resources bought in from the world market at lower fees. And it automatically trades resources as well. So imagine it says, if we go over 3,000 leather, sell the surplus. Sell whatever we've got over 3,000 for money. 
So how about we put this, maybe we don't need it to be near somewhere else. Well, let's put it over here. There's a gap over here. We'll pop that on over. We could use this for housing. We could use that for housing. I noticed that these houses here are not finished, everybody. Why are these houses here not finished? Oh, this is all very silly. We're gonna need some more housing over here as well anyway. So we'll pop a house in there and we'll get some houses in over this side as well. So can we get another house in? Wonderful. Only because yeah, we've got this nice library over here to maximize our science. So we might as well get the housing over there. So, okay, right, trading company. Let's, i oh, just put it over here, that'll do. Just pop it just there. Yay for trading company. And then another forester. Let's get them. Whoa, crazy zooming going on there. And uh, we'll put another one over here because I don't imagine it can't be too bad a thing to have too many foresters in one place. So we'll just pop another forester just there. And then, yeah, we'll have loads and loads of trees over there, which is wonderful. Okay. Okay, right. Things are looking nice. Things are looking nice. How are we looking for resources? Furniture's looking good. Beer's looking a little bit low. Beer's looking low. Could we? Have we only got one brewery? Have we only got the one? I think we might have. Um, is there all we can tell? Hang on, if you click on that, does it highlight... Oh, that's gone to the region now. No, not that. If we click on certain buildings, does it highlight the other ones? No. How do we know how many things we've got? A caravan has arrived. Uh, sell some leather, that'll do. Oh, no, can't do that much. Boom, thanks, thanks for the trade. Yeah, can we see how many buildings of a certain type we've got? Have we only got one brewery? Because that would be... That will be a problem. Statistics, here we go. Buildings, many farms, so many farms. Lots of fruit gatherers, hunting lodges, fishing lodges, windmills, three bakeries, which is wonderful, only one windmill. That might be a problem. Although we've got loads of flour, we've got loads of flour. Uh, foresters, pig ranches, iron smelters, furniture workshops. Where's the breweries? Brewery, oh, two of them. We've got two of them. Okay, so one's using regular wheat and one is using the mushrooms. Okay. And we've got loads of those anyway. Loads of both. Okay, right. That's good then. That's good. I'm glad we've checked that. Yeah, the market. Let's go and have a look at the market. How much stuff is in here? Yeah, there's quite a lot of stuff in the market. And if it doesn't work, do we want to actually have this here? People have said in the comments that this doesn't do anything. But we've stacked quite a lot of stuff in the market. 150 wood, 150 oranges. A lot of stuff is being poured into here. The only thing is, what happens if we remove it? Does all that stuff vanish from the world? Because if it does, that could be quite bad. But if people aren't able to access it anyway because this is broken, then this is a waste of time anyway. Um, uh, how about we just say, nobody work at the market? Nobody work at the market. Can we manage the market? Hang on, hang on. Right, disallow everything. Don't allow anything at all. Then we'll stack it all back up. And then people can come and work it and take all the stuff back out from the market and then we'll destroy it because it doesn't look like it does anything nobody's coming here to get anything right are they coming down to now unload stuff from the market yes they are okay and they're just loading it straight into the nearest thing <laughs> oh my goodness me wow okay right they're they're really on it they're absolutely all over it there's loads of stuff in here there's cabbages and meat and herbs and, and proper medicine and furniture and coal and everything wow there's loads of stuff in there Oh, good job, folks. Good job. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. Two seconds until this comes round. Do we want to get ourselves something else? I'd like one of the things which gives us five extra workers, if we get that. Um, yeah, we'll reload that. Immigration. There we go. Yeah, we'll have that, please. We'll have a bit of that. How are we looking for iron bars? Only 43 of them. 124 coal. Do we get another iron smelter? Because that means we can make more tools. And we've got 26 tools right now. Although we might have bought some of those in. I mean, another iron smelter would not go amiss. We produce 120 iron bars and we use 42. But then, yes, we use them in buildings. So obviously that doesn't take into account buildings. Let's have another iron smelter. Let's do that. And then, for the sake of it, let's have a wild card. Then we can just build anything what we like when we can actually. When we need a building, we can do it. So, okay, we'll have that. Immigration advertisement, five people have joined in immediately. Splendid news. Right. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. And how are we looking on here? Nothing that we particularly want right now. Um, how are we looking for bread? Bread is bread is low. I mean, another bakery would be probably quite nice. Yeah, let's get another bakery in. Let's get another bakery. We've got so much wheat. 
Got so much wheat going on. Right, another bakery. And, I don't know, do you want to put it down here? Why not? Pop a bakery just there. And then let's get a dirt road and we'll connect this up to just here. Wonderful. So now I've got a path going all the way around the edge. Splendid. Okay, we've made it through the winter, which is wonderful. So winter has passed. We're now into the middle of spring. I think pretty much everybody survived. I don't remember seeing a message saying that people, oh dear, Patsy died of old age twice. Okay, that's very unfortunate, Patsy. I'm very sorry about that. But yeah, I don't remember seeing any messages saying people died of cold or of uh, starvation or whatever, illness or whatever. So I think everybody kind of made it through the winter, which is wonderful news. So uh, we've got ourselves a tavern. We've got ourselves a tavern on the way, which is nice. Um, and then, yeah, let's get, I think maybe another beer brewery. I like the idea of having surplus things. I like the idea of having lots and lots of stuff. So if we can have more beer, we're just about on the edge of sort of our beer limit. So if we get another brewery in, that's going to be quite nice. So we'll have that. Thank you very much. And produce that as a beer. It means we get Master Brewer. Beer brewery is getting 30% efficiency. That seems nice. But the only thing is we're out of cards in here. We're out of space for all of those. And to upgrade it to get into the slot, it's going to cost us 30,000 monies. We've not got 10,000, let alone 30,000. So we might not be able to do that at any point soon. That might be pushing it a little bit. Uh, okay, okay, this is fine. Right, a tavern. Over here lacks kind of a fun thing. So let's put a tavern over here. Uh, hang on, we put, did we put something just there? Uh, we put a house in there, didn't we? Okay, we'll put the tavern on the corner. So the tavern can cover all that big range of things there, which is wonderful. And then we'll put a few more houses in. We want to get as little stuff around as possible because, of course, there's a fruit gatherer gathering lots of trees, uh, fruit from trees. And I realised that, yeah, we've just built a load of houses and stuff around there. So we'll try and keep that bit relatively free. Or do we not want them to be there anymore? Maybe that's not the best place for them to go. Maybe if we want to fill this with housing and this bit up here, maybe we should put the fruit gatherer down here, say. Maybe that's our best plan. Maybe that was a terrible place for the fruit gatherer. Do you know what? Fruit gatherer, yeah, you've gone. Come back. Where's better? Oh, over here. 74 trees. 77 fruit trees. Right, you're going just there. Absolutely. Enjoy your new home. Oh, and we might as well pop the iron smelter down as well. We've got this extra iron smelter just sort of kicking around now. So why don't we put this down? Uh, we'll put it, I don't know, just there will do. It's a shame we can't hang on. This path here. Oh, we've completed some more research. Yay, extra house income. Okay, we're earning a nice bit of money. How about we just go back and get some of the other stuff that we've not done? Oh no, right, ah, I see, I see. The Era 1 tech is not cheaper, it just costs more each time you research a new tech. So yes, if we were to go and get this, just thinking, yeah, we'll complete the Era 1 tech, because they must be nice and simple to understand because they're from Era 1. No, they cost 5,472 science. What does a sawmill do? 50% furniture workshop efficiency. I mean, we're still okay for furniture, but it's quite nice to have a surplus so we can trade it away. That is quite good. Or do we just go straight for trying to get to era six? Do we just try and get through some of these? That's houses getting lots of income. That's tax adjustment. That is an irrigation reservoir. What does that do? Raises fertility within its radius to 100%. Oh, you can make like a great big farming area. Oh, that's quite nice. And a garden. Oh, that sounds quite nice. Oh, I like the fact there's a thing called wine snob. <laughs> <laughs> There's a tech called Wine Snob. Cheap land, claiming land is less. I quite like the idea of that. Furniture workshop efficiency going up. Let's get that. I know we're going back to era two, but if we can get more furniture, that's another tradable resource. We can make more money and then buy other things in that we need. And we're just going to rejig this path here just so we can put the other iron smelter directly behind this one because the moment it doesn't fit. So I think, yeah, they'll just vanish out of existence. That is splendid. Right, iron smelter. Pop that in right behind the other one and then get ourselves a path and that can just go back over there. Splendid. Okay, very nice. And you know what? Let's drop the uh, beer brewery in as well. Let's just get that in as well. There's a nice space for it now. It can just go just there. Yay. I noticed we are running a little bit low on stone. We're struggling for stone. I think lots of the buildings we're making are now sort of stone construction. So maybe, maybe we'll just go and order ourselves a nice big pile of stone. Unless, actually, hang on. Is there not any stone? Yeah, there's some here, look. There's some right here. Why don't we just go and gather stone from there? So that'll get us an okay amount. In fact, do you know what? Can we just... No, oh, we can't do it from there. Hang on. Zoom in to the point where the, those options appear. There we go. Right, so stone. There's probably some hiding up in those trees, I imagine. Yeah, there we go. Can we just do this? Oh, there's loads of stone. There's loads of it. Right, everybody, go and gather lots of stone, please. And also from over here... 
can we get can we chop those trees down there can we just chop all those trees down so i'm not bothered by the trees around here anymore i mean okay down here yes keep those trees but all the trees around here not so fussed not so bothered at all fruit gatherer just there so all these trees here they could also go yeah just double checking yeah we can get all of that stuff in that's all absolutely fine so yeah get all those trees please that will include that stone as well so all those trees can go we don't need all these trees just here i mean if we wanted to we could get another fruit gatherer over here it looks like there's plenty of lovely trees over there as well with fruit in so but for now we'll get that wood from there that frees up this space as well to do some more building in and what have you and i think what we'll do is we'll finish up for now we will finish up for the moment because we're at a pretty good point everything's sort of relatively calm where are we at the moment we're in early summer of year 10 uh, our population it did take a bit of a hit didn't it it did take a bit of a hit we were looking to get toward 200 population and it kind of went all a little bit wrong it went a little bit wrong on account of you know a wave of illness that came through and killed lots of people but yeah you know, it's fine i mean it stopped our sort of housing crisis temporarily that will come back obviously but you know it's fine so things are looking pretty good got lots of industry going on now and yet yeah, importantly we've got our little sort of coal area going on over here i mean yeah they still need to do some work on this they still need to do some work on this however are we lacking in are we lacking in laborers we probably are aren't we uh no laborers 15 builders and no laborers hmm yeah that's not going to work is it because no one's going to move the goods around so no one's going to move the stuff around that the builders need to actually do the building okay right so we might need to look at that next time as well that might be a bit of a problem but uh but yeah that's all for next time because i think yeah we'll leave it for the moment hopefully you are still enjoying this if you are then please do leave a like that would be most marvelous indeed and also if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on next time here in kingdoms reborn but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i will see you next time right if we connect to there and open the door we're going to get vaporized by this laser and there's an electronic thing which looks like a sad kind of game boy <laughs> I'm a tiny little sort of sort of stick person in a in a computer. I can't steer the train as such. And look, we are outside and we're in a gutter. Oh, happy days. Hello, Leaf.